You are listening to the Intelligent Vocalist Podcast, Episode 47. Welcome to the Intelligent Vocalist with John Henney. This is the podcast dedicated to help you be a smarter, better, more informed singer. And now, your host for the Intelligent Vocalist, John Henney. Hey there, this is John Henney. Welcome back to another episode of The Intelligent Vocalist. So, I'm really fascinated by first principles, and I've, I've done an earlier podcast on it. And the idea of first principles is boiling something down to its, its absolute essence, where it can't be broken down any further. And by starting at first principles, you can build something new, a new direction, a new approach to whatever problem you're trying to crack. So there was this great article on a a theoretical physicist uh, by the name of David Deutsch, and he talks about um, goals or solving a, a problem. And there are only two uh, criteria for solving a, a problem, achieving a goal. The first one is it has to be physically possible. And, and I have joked, um, I'll tell you a story. I was working with a singer. I may have told this one a long time ago. And this young man came to me. And as I began to work with him, I realized he was a true base of which uh, they're, they're not particularly common, uh, an absolute true base. And I informed him of this, that this was my suspicion. And he said, but I want to sing like Axl Rose. And I said, well, I want to ride a winner in the Kentucky Derby, but that's not going to happen, which was actually a bit mean of me, but I was jet lagged and tired. Um, but I am, uh, six foot seven. And at the time I was over 300 pounds. So yeah, me riding a winner in the Kentucky Derby, um, at six foot seven at any weight at six foot seven is not physically possible. That's not going to happen. I'm not, my goal is to ride my bike to Mars. Uh, that's not a good goal. It's not achievable. So it has to be physically possible. And then it's just a matter of acquiring the right knowledge. You are missing knowledge. If you are not achieving your singing goals, it is a matter of knowledge, even your lack of practice. So let's say that that you've been really studying how singing works. Um, You've got a good handle on the exercises you you should be doing. You've, You've gone to a coach, but you find yourself not practicing. You find yourself unmotivated. That right there is a lack of knowledge as to how your brain works or how motivation works or how uh, you need to schedule your time and how to get yourself to do things when you don't want to, how to understand delayed gratification. These are all areas of knowledge. What you need to do is figure out what your problem is and then break it down into what you need to learn. So in today's podcast slash sermon slash lesson, what I want you to do is really um, take a moment and define what your goals are, like what your goals really are, Um, be it in in singing, in music in general, uh, if you teach or want to learn to teach, uh, even life itself, health, any, anything, family relationships, look at your goal and then break down what knowledge do you need to achieve your goal? What do you need to study? What do you need to learn? What do you need to be better at? And then you have to figure out where to get this learning, where to get this knowledge. You basically have uh, two options. You can figure it out on your own uh, through some great insight or aliens coming. Actually, no, because if aliens came and showed you, it goes into the second category, which is other people's knowledge. 
other, O-P-K, other people's knowledge. And there is a ton of it out there. And this is where we can get ourselves into a quagmire where we can really, really get stuck. Um, Any subject that you look at, there will be lots of information on YouTube, in blogs, podcasts such as this, people like me prattling on about what they may or may not know, but establishing authority. Um, And you have to have the knowledge to know what you should be learning and from who. I really, um, in terms of gaining knowledge, I really value my time. The old cliche, I mean, we all have 24 hours in a day. Uh, There's a meme going around, um, you have the same number of hours in a day as Beyonce. What are you doing with those? And obviously, I can't have cool wind machines in my hair like Beyonce does, but I can um, do what I can within the time given me. Um, Obviously, not the singer artist she is. I'm a humble voice teacher. But uh, I can focus on what it is I need to do. And my time is very important. And I don't want to waste time wading through all kinds of content that may or may not be of use to me. Um, When I uh, launched my first course, uh, really launched, which was my voice teacher boot camp, and I realized I needed to learn Facebook ads. Facebook itself has their own tutorials, which are really dry and go over a lot of metrics and things that I don't need and didn't really pertain to my business in particular. So I sought out people who were expert marketers, um, marketing in the way that I needed to, and I learned from them. I paid the money to learn from them because it was a shortcut. Um, Yes, it cost me money up front, but it was an investment that paid itself back many, many fold over. And the same thing happened with my music academy. Um, I got really crazy and I opened up this uh, 2,000 square foot music academy with all kinds of employees. I've told the story before. I'm actually sitting in, um, you can see part of the uh, recording studio we have here. Uh, Stage room, all kinds of crazy stuff, multiple teaching rooms, even have a disco ball. But um, I started losing money hand over fist with this thing. So I needed to figure out how to do local marketing. Now, rather than dig through all kinds of free content, not that free content isn't good, and I'll, I'll sometimes dig around and see if maybe there's a gem in there, but I specifically went and paid for courses that addressed this specific issue. And the other thing that I've learned about learning and gaining knowledge is it's important to learn from people you click with, the people that uh, speak to you. I have paid for courses and been listening to people who are given really, really good content. And for whatever reason, they just don't click with my personality or learning style or my brain waves. And I have a hard time focusing when these people are teaching. And I know that good information is flying by and I I start to zone out. Um, I can think of one uh, very, very well-known human development and business expert that a lot of people love. And and, uh, I bought and was listening to one of his audio courses and I just spaced out through the whole thing. I'd hear bits and pieces, but he just, there was something about him that did not click with me. There are other people where as they talk, I'm absolutely riveted. They just, I get them and I feel like somehow, even though they've never met me, they get me. And um, part of being a good teacher and also being a good marketer is knowing who your audience is and knowing, really talking to that person. Um, So if you enjoy my podcasts, um, that's great. We probably would click. If you're listening to me 
um, probably maybe for the first time and going, man, I just don't dig what this guy's saying. That is totally okay. Um, I'm not the person for you to learn from. So what I want you to do, let's getting back as I've just, uh, meandered here. I want you to uh, break down some goals. Why don't you pick three main goals? Um, one in singing, one in your personal life, and one just in terms of, of health. Uh, whether it's getting in shape, eating better, losing weight, getting more sleep, etc. And then figure out what you need to learn. Where are you lacking? What do you need to learn? And then you need to learn where you need to learn it. Identify who can teach this to you and then learn it. And if you are procrastinating from learning, you need to figure out why you're procrastinating and learn how to not procrastinate. Learn how to not waste time. Learn how your brain works. Uh, I've gone over this in previous podcasts. If you are allowing your brain to become stimulus addicted, if you are checking your phone every 30 seconds in resp- and you have all your notifications turned on and you're responding to everything that fires off, you're allowing your brain to become stimulus addicted, which is going to stop you from accomplishing things. You will, um, I recommend studying the great, achievers and the great thinkers and look at what their habits are. They've been given the same basic software as or computer as you have, uh, the same basic brain. Yeah, they may have uh, a bit higher IQ, but not everybody who achieves amazing things has an extremely high IQ. Uh, maybe their computer's a little faster, but that's okay. You can hack yours. It's programming the computer. It's getting the right software. It's getting the right information. It's learning how your brain works. And then you become a problem solver because you identify knowledge and you identify how your brain works and you identify how you best work. You need the knowledge of when you are most productive. You need the knowledge of what type of environment you need to be productive. Um, You need the knowledge of how to set that time aside and the knowledge uh, to how not to be disturbed. And then you need the knowledge to know exactly what to do. Well, not exactly. We never know exactly, but what best to do to achieve your goals, to move forward, and to accomplish what it is you want to accomplish. If you can get this focus, if you can begin to become a, a learning machine, Even learn how to learn faster. There's courses for that. You become a learning machine. You will start to knock down barriers to your success very, very quickly. And in music, if you need to learn how to get your music to the right person, you can learn how to do that. How to get more exposure, you can learn how to do that. How to harness social media, how to create the right video, how to write better songs. Man, if you are... Uh, I will give you the best piece of advice I can give to any of you who want to be a solo artist. All right. You're not trying to win a talent show. You're not trying to get on Broadway. You want to get a, a recording contract or these days you just want to be able to write original music and perform original music. That's going to give you a career. Your songs can never be good enough. You have got to become an amazing songwriter or you have to find amazing songwriters. And as a new artist, you're, you are competing against the big names. And let me tell you, if, it, if it's up between a, um, a station, because radio is still important, or people clicking, if it's between, they got five minutes, it's between you, your new song, or Beyonce's new song, they're probably going to go for Beyonce's new song, unless yours is so much better. You're competing against Uh, the superstar. So you have to learn how to write really good songs. You have to learn how to keep your voice healthy and making the sounds you need to make consistently. 
All right. You need to learn uh, if you're a voice teacher, how to identify voices quickly, how to give the results that your students want. And even more importantly, especially if you're an independent teacher, you have to learn how to attract the right students. And unfortunately, or fortunately, you have to become a student of marketing. That's there's no way around that. There may be uh, areas of knowledge that are the solution to attaining your goal, um, to solving this problem, uh, that may be something you're not particularly interested in or want to do at the moment. But you need to learn to be okay with doing things you don't necessarily like to do. And you may spark some some knowledge in that. I actually found that I, I enjoy studying marketing. Um, I'm not going to run off and become some marketing agency um, maven, but uh, I do enjoy it. I do enjoy helping people and showing them how social media works and how to identify the right audience and how to use content marketing uh, to get people into your funnel and get people focused on you. So all of these things, you need to go out and get the knowledge. Figure out what you need to learn and learn it. If you do this, I'm telling you, you will start knocking down barriers to your goal. You will learn to meet the right people. You will learn to get connected. You will learn all of these things if you identify them and apply yourself. So, hey, there ends uh, my lecture. I will get down off my metaphorical soapbox. I want to thank you so much for listening. Um, as you're listening to this, I'm going to, speaking of knowledge, going to be opening up my Contemporary Voice Teacher Academy soon, uh, which is going to teach people how to teach voice. You can learn at your own pace online. Uh, there'll be a certification for completing the course and there will be, um, webinars and, and bonuses and all kinds of things for members. So that's coming up soon. And uh, yeah, check out johnhenny.com if you want to connect with me. I've got uh, blog posts there. And uh, if you're interested in lessons, you can always, if you think maybe we're a good fit, um, go ahead and, and reach out. You can just click on the lessons tab there. If you enjoy the podcast, please consider going to iTunes and leaving a review, an actual uh, typewritten review. Put in a few words about why you like the podcast. It really does help other people uh, find the show. And until next time, to better singing. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.